All right, so Goblin Combo versus Jeskai Wurza. I'm trying to slide Oh, this version. was a wild one. This is this was this is a fun one. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna say off the bat, I was on an hour and a half of sleep, uh, for one of these things, so it took me a little while, to, it took me a little while longer to do the math in my head, and I apologize for that, but we still got there. <laughs> God, what is it with Patrick sending random shit? <laughs> Some days math is hard. <laughs> Alright, so I believe... Goblins won the dice roll. Goblins won the dice roll. Yep. Auntie's hobble, show you prospector. Cast prospector. Yep. Cry low on the inside. Uh, snow covered plains, Mishra's bobble. It's not cold snap foil. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm not paying $60 a piece. You're so. di Morgan, are you still stomped from work? Probably a little bit. So you did. No, I didn't have time. I got here very by like what, five fifteen, and he was here for like five minutes before me, maybe. Didn't even have time to get naked. Nope. <laughs> All right, so two. That's, that's a conspicuous a con snoop. And that's a snoop, and another, ma another matron. All right, so I'm not just dead at least because there's no harbinger or kiki jiki on the top. But so drop for bobble, drop for turn. But his board is growing fast. Uh, I mean, he has he has potential to kill me next turn. He does. So this is where I had to make a decision of like how how far do I want to risk it? So I have. Uh, so you are a pentad prism. So I have I have Urza, the sword, and the the uh, Slot of Foundry in hand. So I was like, if I play this, I think I can just combo out next turn. I think. I was like, let's just see if I'm dead. I was like, Snoop's on the top. I was like, all right, cast Snoops. Play this. Oh God. Cavern, that doesn't do anything. Right, I, I was like, this is just goblins, right? He's like, yes, it's only goblins. Yes. So I was like, okay, good. So it was like, I was like, good. <laughs> no, nothing else is getting cast. So whenever you get done with this, like, I'm just going to have you go through my paperwork with me. Okay. Sensor 3. Like, cool. All right. So uh, I was like, I think I, think I have an untapped land. <laughs> Something, okay, so I was like, if I play the land, crack it, I think I have a fetch now, so if I, if I play it, crack it, I have three mana, use one for the Pentad Prism, gives me four for Urza, right? I get a Construct token, it's like, okay, and, like, and then I can use... So that gives me two mana left. Well, it gives me three max, I'd have one counter on the Prism still. Oh, that's true. So I was like, okay, so I, was like, I can tap the Prism for blue, remove a counter for the white to get the Thopter Foundry, and then tap the Thopter Foundry and the Construct to get the sword, and then combo. But, because I was on an hour, I have a sleep... You it was, it was, it was like, it took a, that hamster was like, really, really trying. <laughs> That's why I said, it took me, it took me a little longer to get to, like, that correct math. But I was like, I gotta do it like three or four times. I was like, okay, this works, right? I gotta double check. So if I'm tired and this doesn't work, then I'm just screwed. <laughs> Like, okay. One, two, three, four. There's Urza. Urza. Get the construct. Right, like, okay, get the construct. Like, all right, cool. Move for a white. One, tap for a blue with Urza. Two. Foundry. Foundry. Okay. Blue. One, blue. Two. Sword. sword. Game. Yeah, and I was like, million life. Right. I was like, tap for a blue. Sack to Thopter Foundry. That's a turn three kill. Right. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was like, okay, cool. I'm like, he's like, all right, can you just run through the combo for me? Because like he he knew the basics. But he just understands. I'm like, okay, so here's how we, you know, here's how we do it. I'm like, hey, cool, do this a million times, and then I'm gonna activate, you know, this. I was like, okay, wait. So how are you netting mana? I'm like, because the doctor tokens come into play untapped, and then the sword's like, okay. Yep. So yeah, so he's he's just double checking. I'm like, I have I have no issue explaining the combos. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And because the sword keeps coming back untapped, so yeah. I'm like, yep. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. So you cut it. I'm like, all right. So I'm going to peel cards from the top until I find my, my kill con currently. And in this version, I'm glad I switched to Alter the Brood as opposed to Time Seed. Because if it was Time Seed, I'd have been real close to dead. <laughs> Probably. Because I, 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 Time Seed, you have to take an extra turn. If it's the last card in your library. <laughs> so like him was like, yeah, we're going to do it. Because like, here I am. I'm like, oh, great. You're going to see most of my deck. I have like nothing hidden from you. I don't know how I feel about this. 
Uh, like, can we? Can we? Can we? Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, I think I have like three cards left in my library by the time I find this altar. It's real bad. There it is. It's like altar. And I'm like, okay, cool. Cast altar. Continue the combo. Mill you out. <laughs> yep. And here's the thing. I was If I didn't win that turn, I was dead next turn. Because he's cast Goblin Matron and gets the Harbinger. Harbinger is Kiki on top, and I'm just dead. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Oh. Uh. So we got, we got real lucky on that one. That game was like camping. Yep. What? It was intense. Oh my god. If she didn't make that joke, you Go would. to the bedroom right now. <laughs> think about what you've done. If she didn't make that joke, you would have. I would not have, because I did not even think about that. Warden's not, e Warden's oh. not even trying to say that he has a limit or a line somewhere. He's just saying he didn't think of it. I'm just, just go, go to the bedroom and think about what you did. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I definitely bring in Path, Aether Gust... Uh, and the uh, gear for Aether Grid in this matchup. I can't Aether that. Grid feels really good. If, if I can push it to longer and I can hit Aether Grid, I, like, I'm like, okay, if I can get like four artifacts on the board, I can just kill all the threats, right? Could you? I, theoretically. This Could like, you? That's the theory. Uh, and his, like, I, I didn't get, he didn't send me his actual like this, so I found a basic one, but I know he's also running airbook squads on the board. And, oh, dear God, I forgot Earwood Squads is a thing. Let me tell you right now. Everybody it's... forgets about Squads. <laughs> you forget that's a thing, and then when they and, and, it, and it, it right? so bad. Oh, God. No, it's one of those like, oh, yeah, that's a card. That's a really good card right now. A wine advent calendar. A what? A wine advent she calendar. She got a bunch of wine because she's an alcoholic. Do you know what an advent calendar is? So, like, kids get an advent calendar and, like, they open a door and each day they get a chocolate until Christmas. And with this, I just, I, I open a door and I get a new bottle of wine every day until Christmas. <sighs> well, now I don't feel so bad about forgetting to bring you more wine. I'm not using it that way, though. Every single time I want wine, I just open the next door, and I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> Do you like a uh, This is what seltzer? I live with. Huh? Do you like hard seltzer? Uh, I'm not sure. Have you had White Claw? No. Okay. Because I'm not basic. Lies. <laughs> you explain to me how I'm basic work. Uh. I need, I need a, an itemized list. Okay, I'll have it on your desk on Monday. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alright. I mean, I hope Urza wins too, Silver Fox. I hope Urza wins too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Goblin, like, I, I was able to beat Goblins going first. So I was like, okay. I have, I have a little bit of confidence coming into this game. Uh, I see a Goblin Engineer, uh, Snow Covered Plains, not much else. I, I can't tell what's I have my hand. <laughs> so Goblins is keeping, so it's like fetch. Uh, let's see if we're gonna fetch shock. Uh, Aether Spell Bomb, Misha's Bobble. Alright. Uh, if I can find a red source. I'm, like, I'm gonna bobble you. Let's see what you're gonna draw. Uh, he should be. And, uh, Blood Crypt. So he should be at 19. So we just a point of damage. Whoops. I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter. I'm probably going to win by combo if I'm going to win. So I don't think one point of damage really matters in this matchup. Yeah. 
This this is not really a. Um, <gasps> wow, look at that. He has no turn to play. Makes me real happy. Draw for ball. We'll draw for turn. So his third his third turn must be pretty good. I mean, either that or he's trying to protect stuff with uh, with vile. Very true. Re he could go turn three um, turn three major and find something for two just vile that in. Yeah. That would be a pretty good turn three play. It's like fetch shock. Uh, steam vent. Looks like we're gonna get a goblin engineer. We're gonna pick sort of the meek, I assume. Untap. He's gonna put vial to two. All right. Uh, well, he has he does have a matron in hand. It's like goblin yep. matron. So he could get snoops. I feel like it looks like he chooses to grab snoops. I'm like, yeah, it's, uh, I'm glad I have a red source and uh, and this uh, pyrite spell bomb right now. So, fetch land. Uh, so do I have a Thopter Foundry in hand? That would be like ideal. Get a basic. I will say, I do really like the Urza. I mean, I version of the Urza decks because, like, it's very. We, hey! It's okay, like we, so we have, have basic combo online. Pretty as like two. Drop the snoop. Snoops, and I'm like, cool. Kill it. Shoot it. This <laughs> is like, no. I mean, you. It's the, forced out. Again. I was like, I was, I was like, no. Kill that on site right now. <laughs> you do not get to combo me. Ticking up to three. He's gonna draw a fetch line that we knew about. Oh, he's and he's kicking hand. Hmm. Uh. So he has a. He also has an auntie's hobble, so he's got four land and vile on three, so he's got options. So he could, uh, if he has a harbin, oh, I'll say he'd have to keep it on two. If he had a harbinger, he could just uh, get the snoop. Uh, yeah, this is probably one uh, one of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, this yeah this is the one where it's uh so you missed game one. I was able to turn three combo him on an hour and a half of sleep. On an hour and a half, yeah. I, we still have an hour and a half of sleep. I uh, yeah, I was like I was like that hasn't changed for game two. Uh, but game game three is is definitely the game to watch. He's like swing with matron. I'm like block with engineer. He's like cool. Here's the sling gang. And I was like oh yeah that's uh that's that's a thing. So like there's a witching well, so I get at least scry two. <laughs> I mean you're not you're not wrong. Uh, all right, so land for turn. So I could theoretically sack the witching well and start the combo, but I am also very wary. So I'm like pass. Oh, because Kiki the Sling Gang is... Oh, God. Kiki the Sling Gang Commander just does not feel good. Just a, just a Sling Gang on its own is yeah. pretty scary. All right, it's like, tap five, Kiki. I'm like, yeah! That is really good. I was like, oof. This is, this is like a big just oof moment. Just, oh. It's not... It's not death, but he's got. Oh, it's he's got value. A, he's got it a machine. Just he's got a machine value. Value. ready to go. Yeah, I was like, it is. Ugh. It's like, yeah, those two. It's like, okay. So we get those three. I'm just like, all right. Hmm, decisions to make. It's like, sack. Yeah? Okay. I'm like, fetch. Get an island. Oh, I, I do. I, I pretty sure I make a very heads up play here. I'm like, all right, sack witching well, two thopter foundry. It's like, okay, uh, we're gonna get a one one token. I'm gonna gain a life, trigger sword, sword comes back. 
I'm like, cool. I'm like, oh, I guess I, oh, dang it, I do it two more times. That was not what I should have done. What I should have done is done it once more. Uh, blocked. I'm like, I'm like, block all of them. And I'm like, all right, so, uh, he's like, trade with your tokens and then shoot you for one, I believe. So what I should have done, actually, was I should have done it twice and then sacked, after blocks were declared, sacked a token with the Goblin Engineer to bring back the Pyrite Spell Bomb. Would have been the correct one. Uh, I mean, I can still do it on my turn, but ideally and manifestly wise, it would have been much better to do it then. It, it doesn't feel great also only having one red... Oh, there we go. It's only having one red source, but I'm like, okay, we have a Scalding Tarn. So I get to start second one. So now we're able to activate Goblin, bring back our Pirate Spell Bomb, and kill the Kiki Jiki. The Slim Gang Lieutenant is still a problem. Uh, can, I mean, that can just machine gun us down. <sighs> so I was like, attack for two, because I'm going to end up sacking the Thopter token anyway. Sack the token. Big Rack Pirate Spell Bomb. Sack Pirate. Spell bomb to kill Kiki Jiki. Because I don't need him continuing to copy Sling Gang Commanders. And then I choose to tap out to play Teferi. Which probably wasn't a good choice. But Valentine the Vile is like flashing a Goblin Matron. I'm like, okay. So if he gets a Harbinger and he has a Snoop in hand, he just wins? Think so? Uh, so two cars in hand. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's very down tick. Eighth of so he's going to hand. I, but I said, I, uh, I don't think it matters. Like, it definitely could have mattered, but in this particular instance, I don't think it did. So he gets the, oh, the Trash Master. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Trash Master is a good artifact killer. Yeah, well, especially the goblins. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. It's, uh, especially now that I'm tapped out, that's just like, oof. That's what, that's what really hurts. So, like, I should have tapped out, uh, but... Uh, you learn. It's like, Snoop, I'm like, yeah? It's really good. And What's like, he got on top? Land. Nothing. It's like, alright, so we're not dead. And now he doesn't have enough to actually cast a Trash Master this turn, I don't think. No. Because that's oh, a 4 drop. But he does have an Earwig Squad in hand, so that's also just not good for me, though. Because see, right, if I didn't tap out, I would have enough, I would have had enough blockers uh, to uh, kill him. Or to not let the Airwick Squad happen where he's going to take out three of my Urzas. Which leads me to I have to find one to now just combo win. Hmm. So. It's just, yeah, it's not, it's one of those, meh. Doesn't feel great. Can't even tell what he took. He took three Urzas. So there's one left in the deck. Because that point, alright, there's one left and you happen to get it to win. 
All right, I'm like, that's fair. That's probably it's probably the best choice. It's probably the better ways to to put it. Uh, is there a deck in the card? I don't believe so. Like I know there's some mixed ones. Like there's uh, slaughter games and the removal card for red. It's really just slaughter games. No, there's another one too that's also like red black. Red black. It was like from the original comic I was It was like one of the first ones. There is um cranial extraction, but that's black. Uh, was that the one in Kamigawa? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a there's another one, but yeah, there's there's no just mono red one. It's like two Pentad Prism. All right, so uh, I could remove, so I could float to get. Uh, it feels so bad. So like use one sack sword, gain a life. Use the other one for red tap sack. Get pirate spell bomb. And then I think. Ugh. It's so bad. It's Fetch land. All right. That's not helping. It's not. Probably the Trash Master being a 3-3 three, three, is just like out of range for my Pyrite Spell Bomb. That feels so bad. Yep. Feels so bad. It's like, yeah, that resolves. I'm not happy about that. He's like, swing. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm like, attempt to sack sword, because there's a Trash Master out. He's like, sure. Kill. I'm like, cool. Uh, trigger, sword, attempt to do it again, cool, attempt to do it again. Like I got three tokens total, three life. So I think what I end up doing is I think I double block the air rig squad. Well, I have to try to triple block the air rig squad. Ugh, gross. See, I don't remember much of this night because I was on so little sleep. It was so <laughs> bad. So I was like, alright. So I'm kind of like, oh yeah, the freaking lord. Because Trash Master's awful like that. Looks like it's a 2 3. Oh, so after Box Guy, he's like, uh, sack. Attempt to destroy your spell bomb. I'm like, okay. I'm like, attempt to kill your sling gang commander. He's like, sack to drain gain you one. I'm like, this is fine. <laughs> Right, and then we're doing math. Like, okay. There we go. So I did some really weird block step there. He's like, one, eight, three, I'll go. Like, Alright, cool. Wait, he lets me untap without destroying the Thopter Foundry, which I was like, cool? That's another land. Not yeah. Right, but at this point, like, uh, I can now just make eight. Thopters, and I can just block everything he's doing. So then he would have to try and win with the combo. I suppose at the end of the turn, if he just like sacked the goblin token to blow up the Thopter Foundry, I'd be so far behind. I guess to be fair though, with the goblin engineer, I could just like sack the Thopter token to bring it back. So he, he'd pretty much have to clear his board to clear my board, which I guess he, you don't really want to do. Like, yep, sack the token to bring back Pirate Spell Bomb. And it sucks because Trash Master is gives all his other creatures plus one plus one. Yep. So everything exactly. everything is out of Pirate Spell Bomb Reach. I'm not happy about it. I shouldn't have even played the second Thought Profound. I should have kept it in hand and just gone through a combo. But this is one of those like hour, hour and a half of sleep, you make really bad decisions. Hour and a half of sleep. Yeah, it was it? It was just like I, I would have had five mana up just to combo through and just make five. Ringleader is not good for me. Because if Ringleader finds Harbinger, I think I'm just dead. No. 
Well, there goes oh, the surgical extraction. Thank God. Swamp. I don't know what that is. That's a harbinger. Yeah. I am dead. Yep. It's like the le fetch land harbinger. Put Kiki on top. Make infinite copies with Snoop. <laughs> And then copy the harbor. Then copy the harbinger for the uh, sling gang, and like, hey, look, and you're dead. I'm like, yeah. So and it's, that one, it didn't really matter with with how I was playing out the thoppers, but still, like, best lines of play were not taken there. Is second foundry that bad of a call? Defensive wise, there are many options to remove both. Right, but having it in hand, if he if he wants to sack all his goblins to blow up pretty much my board. Then I have the Thopter Foundry in hand that I can just play. As opposed to have it on the board and he can just sack a goblin to, to blow it up. Yeah. It's safer in my hand than it is on the board. Against goblins. Alright. Uh, this game three is... For all the marbles. Oh, this is... God, this game three was so... Draining. Exhausting. Oh my god. Exhausting. I, I, everything. Like, roller coaster, high, low, exhausting, great. It was just... Oh my god. It feels so good, but by the end of it, it's like... It's not really that, no. Asleep. No, like, this was the game where it's just like... Neither one of us were sure who was going to win. You were both just... We were, we're, we're, bo the whole we're time. just like... Yeah, oh, it was... It was we were both just like... Who wins? I don't know. <laughs> but I get, I get to play first, finally. Remember my match against Saul when I when I made a shit ton of zombies? Yeah. <laughs> Soul Sisters. <laughs> so, yo, oh, Zach, that's cute. I'm going to gain three life for each one. Zach's like, I can't. There's going to be a tipping point where I can keep up. At some point. <laughs> uh, all right, so I think uh, Goblins is turn if they want a mulligan or not. So he, he's, he's like... Which means Mulligans is good for me, which means like less chance of him to combo. Also, wait, wait, I was like, hang on. Just show, show the camera what, what you're Mulligan away, because I'm very curious. Oh, I remember. Wait. So, Thoughtseize. Trash Master, Thoughtseize, Lance. And Lance, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that. Get rid of that. I completely understand. Like, he's like, well, the, like, the one Thoughtseize might save you. I'm like, oh, I remember him. I remember what he moles into. Oh, okay. And then he moles again. Oh. Well, we just ruin it for the, for the just, chatters. I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I mean, it's. It, it's oh, it's just funny, really. So here's the scary thing, right? He moves to five, and this game was still just anybody's. That's the scary it's thing. Just a nail biter. Oh god, it was. Oh man. Three, four, six, seven. All right. There's a Kiki. That's the Anantis hovel. Land. I believe he shows the camera. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I, I told him if, he's, if you want Mulligan, just show the camera just so we can kind of. That does not. No, yeah, there, 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 there you go. go. Two Kikis, five lands. Oh my god. Yeah, oh. That, that's just terrible. Oh, he shows me. I was like, oh yeah, no, you. Oh, that's. that's... You, 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 th you, you, they don't even think about that. You're just like, no. <laughs> you throw that away like a five color new music deck. Just right in the trash where it belongs. I hate <laughs> how good Five Color Niv is. Even without Astrolabe. I know. <laughs> to be fair, Omnath really helped that. Oh my god. <laughs> Goddamn Omnath. Is that key? Oh, he has a surgical. That's. Alright, sounds like cool. Fetch land, bobble, pass, bobble on the upkeep. Like, just turn over, see what you're gonna draw. Prospector. Prospector, alright. <sighs> like, fetch. Er, yeah. like, cool. He's gonna go to 17, I'm gonna go to 19. Uh, I mean, I would assume I would get. Uh, it depends on what I have in my hand. It's gonna be Stevens or. Nothing stopping y'all from embracing the one true deck. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I am playing the one true deck. Urza. You name one Planeswalker in lore that is more powerful than Urza. You can't. <laughs> Urza is the way. Draw for Bobble, draw for turn. So we got the Hollowed Fountain. Oh, 
Bolas. Let's talk about a fetch shock. Nico Bolas is not more powerful than Urza. <laughs> got real bad news for you. So, all right, Pentad Prison. So we're just we're just going for. I guess I'm trying to go for that turn three combo again. So, and see, like, this makes me really like Pentad Prison more than uh, the Talismans. I can see that. But it's like Prism is just better in like the Emery versions as well, so it's like, ugh, you know. Like, it's like Thought Seas. I'm like, okay. So I, I, I'm like, I'm like, I was wondering if I want a Galvanic Blast as Skirt Prospector or not, is what I'm going through in my head. And I just, I don't know if it's worth it, is the question I'm not coming down to. <laughs> Like that's fine. Like double sword, Thopter Foundry, uh, Alter. I think this one's below Galvanic Blast. Which really sucks for me is I saw that surgical in his hand, and so I was like, oh no. <laughs> right? Like that's why I was like, Ooh. oh. That's why I was like, oh no. Oh. I think he should have done it on the draw step. So you're going to draw step? Why? Because um, there's a chance that you draw Thopter Foundry. But if if he's worried that I top draw a counter spell, that's true. And he's tapped out like Metallic Rebuke, then that's just a real feel bad. Oh yeah, that's fair. Uh, so I'm like, all right, I gotta, gotta win the old fashioned way. I attack you for one. Like, yep, take it. Draw. So I'm like, Alter. Land for turn trigger, you mill one. Sword trigger, you mill one. <laughs> oh, go to where one Harbinger. So I'm like, we're, we're doing okay there. <laughs> Snoops. I'm like, yeah, what's the top card? It's a Sling Gang Commander. I'm not really happy about that. Thank you for one. Like, take it. Like, down to 14. I'm like, uh, Witching Well. That's gonna be super helpful. It's like a Galvanic Blast, something else. Galvanic Blast, Witching Well, both on bottom. Like, I, I guess I'm digging for Urza. So, like, Galvanic Blast to Snoops because, yep. Faster. Attack for one, man. That oh, that skirt prospector is putting in some work right now. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the one, sometimes the one yeah. powers will get you there. Pyrite right, spell bomb, trigger mill one. Yay! Took away trash master. Real happy about that. <laughs> like two. Might as well play out a sword. Mill one. And we hit a land. All right. He's gonna fetch. It's really sad that we're both almost the same life total <laughs> right now. So this is the nice thing with Alter though, is it's just like in in moments like these, it's another alternate win con where I'm just taking resources away from my opponent, which is helpful. Cause like I mean took I've taken away a Harbinger and a Trash Master from him so far, which is nice. <laughs> oh, that's a matron. Matron's not bad. I'm pretty sure to go to the Trash Master. Well, I am, I am helping. Yeah, it goes with trash match. I'm like, I am helping. All right. I guess that. I get trigger. The land, you're going to mill one. So I'm like, pass. Which is real unfortunate. Like four for a trash master. I'm like, yep. Sounds like fetch. I was thinking like Mystic Sanctuary. I could put uh, Galvanic Blast on the top, but I am one island short currently. 
That always hurts. Which I was like, because if I had a glass hand in the Trash Master, it would just be like, ideal. That's why I, was, I, I tried to stop and read it. I was like, ah, uh, ugh. Not quite. So like, right, fetch. Oh, we took a snoop away from him. Happy with that. This is, yeah, I mean, it is a classic combo mirror in a sense that neither one of us currently are comboing. So I'm like, alright, tap out, activate Witching Well, draw two. Hoping if, if I need to like find a path. If you don't find, I don't think. So like, swing for four. I'm like, go to eight. I need an Urza. Hey, we found an Urza. Okay, we, we're in this. We're in this game. So Urza comes in, brings a token. The opponent should be milling two cards. Both land. So now I'm just like, alright, pay two. Sorcerer Spyglass. That's a good one. That is a good one. So I was like, it's like, in response. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Blow the altar. Uh, pretty sure I've floated for a blue. I tapped for a blue. I'm like, while well, this is on the stack? He's like, yes. I'm like, okay. So I'm just debating. I, I should float for a blue. Okay, so I'm like, with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to sack and kill your skirt prospector. So now, if you want to blow up, he's like, alright, cool, blow up your construct. I'm like, this is fine. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I guess your hand, which I don't remember what it was. I'm like, we just named the... I think we just named the Trash Master. It was Trash Master or Conscripts. Like, resolves. Like, yep. I'm like, cool. I'm like, land for turn. And he's like, fetch. Alright, so I have I have a blocker for his Trash Master. We're both pretty much on top draw, but because I'm an Urza, I effectively currently have two more draws because of his ability. Yep. <laughs> Urza, it's so good. Ah, uh, I love it. I really hope they make a Planeswalker version of Urza in Modern Horizons 2. He they he have, they he have, could cost ten, two of each color. I would play the fuck out of him. He, would, if he would cost ten, he'd probably have affinity for artifacts. Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> this feels so good. Hard. He had to hard cast his earwig squad. No ability. Oh, that feels so bad. <laughs> I'm like Mystic Sanctuary, because I now have three islands. He's like, I was like, what are you targeting? I'm like Galvanic Blast. Oh. I was like. That's fine. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'd much rather have that taken out than like Urza currently. <laughs> All right. So I have my draw plus two Urza spins. Uh. Man. He's exiled seven cards out of my deck, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but you're still in a pretty... You're not in a bad spot. He has a 5-3 currently. Like, I can... I can, grant I can double equip Urza, but he can still come across for, like, three. I mean, he would, he would lose a creature if he did. But still, I mean, like... It's not a great spot, but I'm holding my own. It's very true. I'm holding my own. You're doing your best. <laughs> it's like, untap, draw. Uh... Oof. I'm pretty sure I named conscripts on the Sorcerer's Spyglass. And I don't remember what I drew. So I was like, I, if he, conscripts was just like his combo win. And like the Trash Master at this point wasn't doing a whole lot. Oh, man. So I'm like, float to equip, <laughs> equip Urza. Because that's how that works. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the sword is tapped, if it's equipped. So I'm like, okay. I have a six butt, it's bigger than your, it's not quite bigger than your airwig squad. So it's a two six. It's a two six. His airwig squad is a six four because of the trash master bump. 
And so now I'm just like determining, like, I have enough to do an Urza spin, and then I still would have two left over to then equip this, a second sword to it. So I'm pretty sure I'd spin the wheel here. And they're like, ah, I want to keep, try and keep colors up. So I'm like, all right, spin, spin the wheel. So I'm like, I can, I can move a counter and tap the pentad prism for the two mana to re-equip. It's like, come on, something good. W Witching well, we definitely take. It gets, lets me scry two. So I'm like, I'm like top bottom. Uh, and I'm just like, I think I have to go tap Witching Well, tap Pentad Prism, equip the second sword. Yep. Equip the second sword to Urza. Alright. Got a big, big, big old beefy beefcake. <laughs> right, I mean, but, like, if I get the combo, then I get to cast off the Urza ability. So Urza brings Urza for only five mana. Second Airwig squad. For no value. Mm. He's like, swing. I'm like, I, I can't afford to go to one. But... Urza. Right, so I'm like, block. He's like, cool. Sack, blow up a sword. And I'm like... Oh, yeah. I, I was like, I was like, yep, yeah, that happens. Yep. That's also what I was like. That was a good heads up play. Yeah, no, I, I was like, I, I saw it and I was like, I don't have a choice. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I really don't. Oh, so I don't, I don't. I don't know what I drew. This is why I said like this game is just like so. Oof. Three. Four. Five. Oh, he's like, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm gonna work for, for two. two. He's like, he's like, hey, Earth's not on the board. I'm like, you're right. That's why I'm improvising. Like, All right. He's like, oh, I got you. Uh, so I was like, what do I, oh, God, what do I even have that? So I, I took out Ensnaring Bridge against him was the problem. So I have a Witching Well. So I get a Scry 2. I think I, I have to have a removal spell in hand. Oh, I think you drew an extra card. No, because uh, Scry 2. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. From the Witching Well. So I'm like, okay. It's like, what do I have in the bin? This is so bad. We're just like checking everything. Alright. That's Kiki. That is a Kiki. That's a problem. Uh, it is. It's like Kiki. I'm like, yep. Uh, he's like, attempt to copy Trash Master. I'm like, yep, that's that's pretty good. I'm like, I have a response to you targeting. Path. Oh. So he doesn't get a copy. But he can but he can nab an artifact on the way out. He can. He's like, I'll, I'll nab the spyglass naming the conscript. Yep, you got it. Swing for five. Go to two. And I know when Urza's on top, because I scryed it. I'm like, Urza, just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I'm like, okay, I got a construct. I got I got blockers. How many Urzas are left in the deck at this point? Two. There are two Urzas left in the deck. Okay. This, this is what I was talking about. Like, this game was just awful <laughs> because of this. I'm like, hey, cool. Float four, witching well. Draw two cards. That's a pass. Second pass. That's pretty good. We're still in it. One, two. Th so, one, two, three, four. That is one, a four, two. four construct. Now it's a five, six. No, Urza is. is it, a Urza's a two, two six. Five, two, six. Now. Two, six. Uh, I was like, the construct. Uh, it's a four, four. It's a four, four. So, like, if you want to do a just airway squad, I can trade. Yeah. And I don't mind trading, obviously. And Urza, Especially when you, jet, when you have an Urza in play yes. on. But so an empty board. I'm at two life. Yeah. So if he gets a Sling Gang Commander or Moshlik Pawns, I'm just dead. Like, I I am dead to more top draws than I'm not. 
Because like, between Ringmaster, Goblin Matron, Harbinger, he has so many live draws. And I have not a whole lot. Uh, Goblin Engineer. Okay, good. Thin the deck. Find something that we don't care about. What what artifact don't I care about? What artifact don't I want to draw? Uh, I think it was an additional witch. I don't. Know. I can't see because of reflection now. Well, I'm just like I'm. Dude, I'm like I'm trying to feign like. Sling Gang Commander, Hoshlik Mons, Harbinger, a Ringleader. Lot it's just, yeah, it's. So it's like a one, two. You gotta. Oh, I see, I'll tap the sword because I forgot to untap it. Three, yeah. four, five. Spin the wheel. I got one more path left. I think I have a Aether Grid. What do we got? Oh, there's, a oh there's a third path! Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so good! <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, hits you for, I think I hit him for five, right? One, two, three, four, I could hit him for six. I so said two stack for four, stack four, put him to seven. Alright, so I am literally feigning. Fosselic Mon, Sling Gang Commander, Matron, Ringleader. Harbinger also would work because I can't get through what he currently has. He, just, he blocks the biggest thing with a Harbinger. Oh no. What's he got? Skirt Processor. Skirt Processor. Okay. That's fine. I'm, okay. Not dead. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> Okay, That's bobble. bobble. You still got some deck. You still got some top decks. I, uh, I need. To, I need to kill him the next two turns. The thing. All right. Okay. So, sack pent. Sack penta prism. To bring bring back spyglass. Spyglass. Okay. So, so what so, do you name at this point? Well, I guess what's in his hand. Uh, That's very true. So I think at this point, I think I, sling gain is like the. I thought. I, I, yeah. So I said. I think I'm like that thing. That thing right there. He's like, okay. So the thing is, Postic Mon still wins him the game. Yeah. So I was like, oh god. What was in his hand? Did he reveal? Land. It? Okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, God. All right, so it's like, all right. One, two, three. There's five, currently. Four, five. Yep. Three, one, two, three four, four, five. five. Spin the wheel. Whew. Oh, God. This, oh, man. Oh, there's... Uh, there's yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a second, Urza. Let's just put them... <laughs> okay. What do we got? Aether, Aether grid. grid. That's, oh, that's pretty good. That that's is a pretty good. good. He's like, no. No. <laughs> take it back. Take it back. It's like okay. I'm like okay. I feel I feel pretty confident. I was like I can. Whew. Right, I'm looking. I was like uh. Two to equip. There. He has to chunk. So that's what I said. This forces him to have to block. Yeah. So I'm like okay. No matter what he gets, I'm pretty sure he's just dead next turn because I have enough artifacts to like kill a blocker. So I'm like, no past the mons. It's a blocker. It's a blocker. It's a blocker. Uh, I mean, it, I have a, the Aether Grid, so it's not. So I just, I, I, pretty sure I, I have him. I'm like the fairy. The fairy. I'm like bounce it, draw a card. So one, two, three. Yeah, so yeah, so six and then got him. Oh my god. That Woo! game. When I said like that I was oh I was dead to so many top decks. It was not even funny.